Reading I Ching Oppression Change of Lines The three lines that consists of the lower trigram of oppression, lists three different types of oppressing situations. The first line is Yin. The line of Yin that lies at the bottom of a hexagram, often symbolizes the foundation that supports us. However, such a foundation is like the air that we breathe every day, in that we cannot notice much difference, however much attention we put in improving it. On the other hand, just a little glitch in the foundation, causes incredible inconveniences. The foundation does not shine out by itself, but it can illuminate others by supporting them. It may be considered a honorable or rewarding position, but it also means that one can get easily disheartened and exhausted. When you are in such a position, you probably need to buckle up yourself, and try to discover the value within yourself, instead of from other people's appreciations. The second line is Yang. The line of Yang located at the center of the lower hexagram, symbolizes our actions. However, the actions we take do not always produce immediate results. In addition, the result does not always turn out to be the same as what we expected. In some cases, you may be able to find out the effect of your action, only after you repeated the same action for a long time, or in some other cases, you may end up getting unexpected side effect. When things do not unfold as we wish, should we give up, or should we change methods, or should we keep trying? It depends on our choices. The third line is Yin. It is a line that represents a position where we take one step further. The line of Yin often provides consistency to our actions, and embraces other people's opinions, but we sometimes find out that the road is blocked, so that we cannot keep on doing the same action anymore, and there are no more people who gives us their opinions. Even if we want to take a step forward, there is no more floor stretching further. We cannot simply move forward alone. We probably need to wait for others to catch up with us. Now we go up to the upper trigram. The upper trigram lists the possible solutions to the difficult situations. The fourth line is Yang. As was explained in the first line, however hard we may try to change the foundation, people cannot easily perceive the difference, and we may end up getting disheartened. However, it is the nature of the foundation that it plays a crucial role, although it does not shine by itself. Too much change in foundation results in confusion and chaos, but no change in foundation also results in gradual extinction as well. We need to have the will to change, and try to make a little difference in our foundation every day. When a long time has passed, we may look back on our trail and find out that we have moved farther away, from where we started before. The fifth line is Yang again. As was explained in the second line, not everything results in immediate consequences. Sometimes however, it is necessary for us to look further into the future, and go through the path that does not given us any direct benefit. Sometimes we need to have faith in deciding our next course of action, such that even if our individual actions may not seem beneficial for us right now, when they are accumulated long enough, we will be able to achieve a greater goal in the future. The last line is Yin. The previous two lines commonly explained about moving forward slow and steady, but as the third line of this hexagram suggests, there are cases that we simply cannot find a way to move forward. If we try to force ourselves to move forward when there is no more ground beneath us, we will end up falling down the cliff, instead of progressing further, or keeping our position. How about pausing for a moment, and look back on our own paths? We probably need to ensure that we are on the right track. If we are not, we will get further from the truth as we move along. We need to track back to our starting position, and find the right direction to go.